Now, the US-UK duo of Marilyn Crispell and Raymond MacDonald perform Night Walks, a poetic narrative elegantly marrying enigmatic words with breathy saxophone. My book, The Night Sky, does not show Orion among the visible constellations in the October sky. The sky charts are calculated for 9 p.m. One night last week, I was out walking at about 1.30 a.m. I walked up Nea Street and turned the corner to go down the Hillcrest. Suddenly, in the sky, rising, tilting to the left, huge, huge and bright, was Orion, looking like it was resting on the lawn of the American Legion building. Always before, I had seen it high up in the winter sky. This was like I could reach out and touch it. Amazing, almost frightening as if the constellation had fallen to earth or earth had careened out of its orbit and landed right in front of Orion. I was walking up Hillcrest on my way back home when I noticed a bear-like silhouette by the garbage cans at the top of the street. It didn't move for a long time, so I wasn't sure. Then, slowly, silently, it turned and walked into the yard away from a possible encounter with me. I didn't feel afraid and kept walking at the same pace the rest of the way home. It was very mystical. I felt like the bear and I had a silent understanding. Nonetheless, I didn't go out walking again on the nights before garbage collection. Silent tongues, black and luminous. Shuttle shivering cries, tap dancing down the streets of Brooklyn. Your songs, brilliant dissonances, breaths sucked into incongruous clubs, explode, are spit out like fire as our tongues lap up the burning air.
and your ivory voice sings, breaking like fragile cartilage in the clear air of points winged and pure, beating, colliding in subtle counterpoint, crossings, birds fly between here and there, singing furiously in delicate tongues. Thank <laughs> you. 